Welcome to another edition of Performance TV. This week's show coming to you direct from the SEMA show in Las Vegas. There's a lot to see, so let's get started. Thinking about speed, thinking about muscle cars, and thinking about made in the USA, well, that leads us right to the American Racing Headers booth. What are some of the new headers you brought out? Well, you know, we started doing the classics about two years ago. So, uh, you know, the muscle cars from the 60s with the Chevelle and whatnot. Of course, the LS swap market is, is really taking off. So this year we spent a lot of time uh, developing headers for the Chevelle with the LS swap. Uh, we already had Gen 1 Camaro headers, now we did Gen 2 Camaro. Phone calls were always coming in for the Fox body with an LS swap. So we did, we knocked that out as well. And American Racing Header says something for the C7. Let's go check it out. Well, here it is. This is our uh, new C7 system. Uh, the system was designed with our Cat Forward X pipe, which is a trademark of American Racing Headers. We said, you know what? Let's try and build a more emissions friendly type header. And with the mid length header and our connection pipes, we were able to connect right to the secondary set of catalytic converters, so we're really happy about that. We situated the O2 sensor in a location where it reads all four cylinders, and we're able to light off that O2 as quickly as possible. The great news about this header is we made 21 horsepower and, and 29 foot-pounds of torque, and I mean, I mean, what else could you ask for? No tuning, all that power. The air-fuel ratio was, went from 11.8 to about 12.3, so it's perfectly safe. I mean, it, it just doesn't get better than that. Here in Trick Tools booth with Bruce Van Sant. Bruce and I have known each other a long time from Iowa. And Bruce, you're in the fabrication and metalworking business. You, you have a tool for just about everything. We do. We've, uh, we've added a tremendous amount of product to our website the last couple years. We now have over 7,000 products, 75 manufacturers. So we have experts in-house that uh, can give a recommendation and get you hooked up with the right tool for any job. Once a guy's tried the cheap stuff that breaks on him, he should come talk to us because we've got the stuff that will really do the job. Right, you've been there and done it before. But one of the things you have here at SEMA is really an interesting product. Tell me a little bit about this. This has been a neat demonstration. A lot of people have been clamoring around. This is the flow drill system. It actually uh, is a technically called a thermal friction drilling system, and it will form the metal into a shape that you can tap, so you don't have to use a welded on nut or a threaded insert. It actually just heats up through friction and forms the metal into a tappable shape. It's a very clean system. It can be used in a drill, drill press or a mill, and it just makes contact with the material, gets hot, and forms the material down into that shape. Well, that's pretty slick. I mean, there's no metal shavings. It looks a little bit magical to me. <laughs> a lot of people want to step back when I turn the machine on, but it's really so simple. Once it goes through the material, no mess at all. Yeah, and, you, and it saves you from having to drill a hole, put a bung in, weld the bung in. Right. This is already there. That you got the you got the material surface. You run a tap through that now, and they can put a, a, a nut, a bolt, whatever they want to do. It's an amazing time saver if guys are using welded on nuts or threaded inserts of any kind. Never spins or come loose or leaks at all. So, well, all you guys are out there building these projects, have some fabrication work to do, check out trick-tools.com. Just like with all Titan fuel tanks, no rust, no corrosion. This is our 60-gallon portable uh, mobile fuel caddy. We use it as a shop tool, a way to transfer fuel out of these tanks into a mobile storage unit for truck repair, things like that. Or you can use it if you have like a used car lot and you need to go out and fill a bunch of little cars with gasoline. Gasoline and diesel safe. 15 gallon GPI pump. We got them in AC, we got them in DC. Same warranty on the tank body that, that all the rest of our stuff carries. All powder coated, really, really, really nice setup. And you got a spot right in here, it's perfect for a battery. Yep, if you, if you choose that version, then the battery fits right in there and everything's good, so. You can transfer from, from vehicle to vehicle. You can transfer from vehicle to tank or tank to vehicle. That's just one of the new products that Titan Fuel Tanks has. Okay, our electronic controller, we wanted to make it as simple as possible, but we also wanted to give the users complete control over how they use their fuel. So our controller set up, this is a gauge on the bottom that shows the level of fuel in the tank. Um, and then everything else is just backlit to, so, to show the location of the button in our name. So it's as simple as you push the button, it beeps, a red light comes on to show you that it's pumping fuel, and it will pump until it pumps five gallons, and then it shuts itself off automatically. So you don't have to worry about it. Now there's also a manual shutoff, you just hit it again to manually shut it off, um, but otherwise it'll pump for five gallons. What if you're running low on this? Will it, will it stop the pump as well? Yep, if you're running low, we've designed it to make sure that it never pumps when the, when the tank's empty so we don't run the pump dry. 
Now it averages every four seconds, so after the average is complete, you'll see the, the gauge runs empty and the pump shuts itself off. Want to find out about any of these particular products that you guys are showing off here today, where can we find you on the web? Uh, TitanFuelTanks.com. This edition of Performance TV, presented by Low Car Performance Products, is being brought to you by Low Car Performance Products. Quality, plain, and simple. Inferno USA, the shades that don't suck. Scorpion Protective Coatings, the leader in polyurethane truck bed liners. Garage Armor, designed for your protection. And by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. in the Garage Armor booth with Corey, and you've come up with something here. It's called the Garage Armor. Tell me how this works. So uh, what we've done is we've taken garage door remotes that, that most people have in their vehicle, something like this that you leave on your visor, and we've created one that requires a password to get into your residence. Right, and it's simple to add on to your system. This goes in place to where your push button is on the wall. You, you connect the two wires yes, from sir. your push button, little power source, and it's simple to program. Show me how we program this so somebody can put their code into the remote. Yes, sir. There's a small learn button on the side right here, and all you have to do is, is touch the learn button. See the light come on. And then hit the zero button on the remote. Right. That, that makes this remote attached to this receiver. Yes, sir. So now this remote is speaking to this receiver. You need to select your own password or pin code. It's as simple as hitting the learn button on the side of the receiver and the pound button, any three to eight digits, one, two, three, I'm selecting, enter, and then now our remote speaks to our receiver, which is operating your garage door. One, two, three, enter, now opens your garage door. And if you want to, one remote can have its own password for every garage door. Bad guys are always looking for a way, a quick way to get into and out of our house. If you target harden your residence by doing something as simple as this using garage armor, it, it's going to protect you from a very common type of burglary that most people don't know about and that's our goal here is to is to uh, warn people so that they don't uh, have their homes broken into. I want to protect my garage. This is one item I think I'm going to have to have. This is one of these things, new product here at SEMA. You got to get one of these. You know, turbochargers, hey, they don't go bad, Chris. It's lack of maintenance that are making these things just lock right up. That is correct. Due to lack of routine oil changes, oil starvation is the number one issue why a turbocharger fails. You have lots of direct factory replacements here. Yes, that's 100% correct. We have replacement turbochargers for Subarus, for Mitsubishis. This is our brand new upgrade turbocharger for the BMW with the N20 four-cylinder engine. Uh, one of our old standbys over here is our Subaru Stage 2 upgrade turbo. This is a direct bolt-on replacement turbocharger that will take your Subaru up to 550 horsepower. Wow, absolutely amazing. Now for your new, new product that we have over here, uh, what, what kind of horsepower adjustments are we thinking we're gonna have on this one? This one is probably 25 to 30% over the stock turbocharger. It has a specially designed electronic wastegate, which is a lot more precise. It's on, it's off, as opposed to ones that run off a of vacuum or the old style canister. You guys have a billet inside in, instead of, you know, what the, the, the factory would have. Yes, that's correct. If you look at the cartridges here, you can see very quickly the shiny aluminum one is a machine compressor wheel versus the one that's uh, next to it, which is a cast compressor wheel. Billet compressor wheel equals high performance. Like to hear about the high performance, but whether you're looking to keep a, keep your vehicle stock or you want to have a little more fun with it and get it up to the potential that it really has, you can check out their entire line. I'm at SEMA with Lance Corey, and a lot of people know you for your uh, X Games and, and motorcycle riding, but there's also another side of you, Motogate. Tell me about Motogate. Motogate uh, was created back when I was 16 years old. I first got my license, and me and two, three buddies would load up in my truck to go riding, and we would find ourselves having too much gear, too many tools, too many gas cans, and stuff would be hanging off the back, and uh, we were always using tie-downs to tangle it in there, and bungee cords, and. You're not going to use four or five tie downs to tie all your stuff down. You can use one moto gate, put it over your stuff, tie it down, and you're ready to go. Yeah, one moto gate. It has tie down hooks on all four corners. It's fully adjustable left to right. 
um, and it, it's you can use it on any application. The funniest thing is that I made it and instantly thought, oh, it's great for motorcycles. And everyone that has, has had one sends me photos moving couches, moving <laughs> lumber, moving mattresses. It's not just for motorcycles. You can always put whatever you want on the base plate, but uh, you know, I find a lot of people like this. And it actually worked out perfect with the red because you know, it's, it's visible. When someone's coming up, it's on the back of your car. If you have something hanging off the back, you have your red. So right, you, you're in, you got your instant red flag on the back of your long extended stuff. But exactly. yeah, it, there's so many uses for this. Exactly, and the coolest part is that when you're not using it, you fold it up, you can throw it under your seat. But you also make a tie down strap as well. The uh, bottom hook has a carabiner and it is rubber coated. It won't scratch your truck and then it won't also come off of wherever you hooked it to. And then it's a soft tie on this side. Uh, you won't scratch your item or your other side of your truck or whatever it is and a solid uh, cam buckle. So it's all quality material. It's the essentials, it's what you need. I haul a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna have to have one of these. Go check it out, moto-gate.com. We've come to know Bedwood for all of their great liners and their products and the choices that you have to really customize the lining of your truck, make it beautiful for many years. Well, sometimes you want to have a little fun out there and you're fishing and you're hunting and you're tailgating. Bedwood has come up with something that we can all use for a very long time. What in the world is this new product here? Well, Kathy, this is what we call our easy tailgate butcher block. It's going to convert the tailgate of any pickup truck into a food preparation surface. You can clean your game on it. You can have it at a tailgate party to serve your food on. When you're done, you can just hose it off, stow it away till you need it again. It's got this neat blood groove in it. Or some people like to call it a liquid groove. I'm from the south, so I call it a blood groove. But to catch any liquid, so it keeps it off the paint of your truck. Also, it's protecting your tailgate as you're cutting, you're not scratching your paint up. So when you're done, You've got this, you know, still had a nice tailgate. You've got a great product here. We also got it for the front or rear racks of ATVs, ORVs, and side by sides. So the power sports industry, they've got something they can use out in the woods as well. We, we chose a wood. We use, you know, hickory, a great American wood for great American product, and then we treat it with what we call our butcher block tonic, and it's an antimicrobial uh, sealer that and preservative that as you just take your fingers, wipe it on the wood after you've cleaned it and you're good to go. Where can we find out about these new products and in, in all of the stuff that we've come to know and love with Bedwood? Check us out on the web at bedwoodandparts.com or check with one of our many dealers. Made in the USA, Kentucky handcrafted, just another one of the great products from Bedwood. I'm in the Easy Puller booth and, and I'm with Mark. You're, you invented this tool and what impresses me, I bet you this come out from a need, something that you were working in the shop or doing something and said, I know a better way to do this. Yeah. Well, I had, a, I had trouble. I had a 289 uh, block, and I had a alignment dowel pin for the transmission in the back, and it was frozen, and I'd been taking a pair of locking pliers and trying to work it out, and I'm looking at my uncle's slide hammer going, man, if I could connect that on there, you know, somehow I could tap this out. So I got a, a uh, locking set of pliers with a hammer, you know, like a peanut butter cup. What's not to like, you know? You even got a SEMA award for the best new tool. Yeah. So. All right, well, show me how this works. I mean, this is pretty yeah. simple and it makes the job a lot easier. Yeah, you just clamp on, whether it's a, you know, a cotter pin or any kind of retaining clips or pins yeah, or rusty bolt. roll pins, rusty bolts, dowel pins, you know, axles, whatever you can clamp pliers onto, you can pull. You just clamp it on. This is a 3 16 gratin cotter pins. Well, you didn't even have to bend it, bend it back. If, yeah. I mean, plus, plus maybe those are rusted or stuck. Yeah. It'll still pull them out of there. Yeah. Really designed when they're corroded in or rusted in and you can't, you know, it's a problem solver. Take a look at this, you know, this bolt, the shackle bolt and what the jaws are doing to that shackle bolt, um, leaving the teeth prints in it. You know, how well does it hold on? It, it holds on really well. Get stuff out. <laughs> I'd say that you're not going to worry about that slipping off. You're pulling on. You're not going to bust your knuckles by slipping off of it. If you got a shop and you're working on cars, you need one. An easy puller. Networking, commerce, a whole lot of fun. GarageSocial.com. Max, give me the idea behind this website. The idea is, is we need one central platform to be able to to meet other current users. So we're starting out this product by creating a networking community. So it's a place right now to be able to put your vehicles up and display them in all their glory. Pictures, specifications, modifications, anything you've done to your vehicle. But then we're going way beyond and we're, we're adding a, 
live map uh, lo localytics, so you can actually discover on a map other vehicle owners with the same specs, same uh, same engine types, same modifications you've done to your car. So we really have a global community now of uh, to be able to you know put it all together and and a network. And we've planned way beyond vehicle uh, cars. We have now support for trucks, motorcycles. ATVs, we even have helicopters, uh, <laughs> if you still have one. And uh, we also have a section for parts. If you have wheels, engine, rims, anything you want, your whole garage, our goal is to have it on that community, on that website, for everybody to network and comment and, and create this community of, uh, of online garages. Now we have a way to categorize vehicles you have currently, vehicles you've owned in the past, vehicles that you, you want, and vehicles you've just driven. So we, we're trying to put all the information on this community online uh, to create a great uh, networking community. Hop on board, start building your garage right now, and that way you can get social with other folks all across the country, the world, you name it. GarageSocial.com. This week's ARP Quarter Mile Quiz question comes from Jim in California. Jim writes, I know John Force played football in high school. Does he have a favorite team now? Three years quarterback and lost 29 games. Every one. Uh, I'm still trying to win to this day. Actually, uh, I don't know. I, I, because I'm local, USC, UCLA College, it's just because they're home to us. But I've always been a Ram fan uh, for, from the early days back. Um, but uh, they went to St. Louis. So i got to be honest, I love the Dallas Cowboys because of the cheerleaders. If you have a question for the ARP Quarter Mile Quiz, send it to the address on the screen. If we use your question on the air, you'll receive a free ARP Quarter Mile Quiz shirt. This edition of Performance TV, presented by Low Car Performance Products, is being brought to you by East Coast Diesel. We will not be beat on price. American Racing Headers, made entirely in the USA. Sprint Booster, more power on demand. RevTech Suspension, manufacturer of rugged and affordable suspension lift systems. And by Cargo Glide, flexible cargo management solutions. I'm in the RevTech booth with Chris from RevTech, and you guys are known for your Toyota lift and leveling kits, but you make them for a lot of different vehicles as well. No, that's correct. We started out in 2000 in the Toyota market, um, had great success with our split spacer system, and since then we've come to develop a lot of in, into a full range suspension company, really taking a step back, listening to our customer base, and developing some new products here with applications for Dodge, uh, Chevy, Ford. Our kits are, are all a direct bolt-on. There's no cutting, there's no welding. We really try to strive to make those kits easy. One of the things here at SEMA you're displaying is your new Jeep line. You have a lot of new products for the Jeeps. We do. We have a, a budget kit and we have a, an upper end kit. So we, we, try to, we try to reach the full demographic. Not every cu customer or consumer needs uh, 40s on their, tie, on their Jeep. You know, there's a lot of people that just want to get it up a little bit, maybe put some 35s or some 37s on it. They're going to see mild trail use. All of our components and our suspension systems are designed for that. And, and again, if you want the kit that you want to put 40s on it, we have that kit too. So. Right. I've had some trucks in the past. I don't want them great big. I don't want to have to try to climb up into it. But I want to have a nice sporty look. You know, I'm not going to go off-roading in it, but I want it to look good and look bad. That's kind of the RevTech specialty. Nice looking kit. Just raises it up and make it a good looking vehicle. It is. It is. I mean, it's, 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 our, it's our core market is, is, uh, is function and looks. You know, it's going to function off-road. It's engineered for off-road use. It's designed for that, but again, it's, it's that look that everybody wants as well. If you're looking to raise your vehicle a little bit, give it a great stance, RevTech's your answer. Whether you're working around your garage at home, you've got a shop, you know, sometimes just getting from the tool bench, the toolbox, whatever, to the vehicle you're working on is kind of a pain in the butt, and you could save a lot of time with the tool tote. I'm telling you what, I, Greg, I love this thing. Well, thank you very much. How did you come up with the idea for this? I've been a mechanic all my life. I invented it, and I couldn't believe the benefit it had for me personally. Then I knew that it was for everybody out there. Every mechanic that's going to use this thing is going to love it. It looks like it's the right height for whatever type of uh, job you're doing, whether you're working up on a rack or just working on a car underneath the hood. Right. It's always the right height. I don't care what you're working on. I'm working on a lawnmower. It's the right height. It, it just increases your productivity and makes you organized. The whole idea is you could set this thing up job specific. You could have this thing set up for all your diagnostic stuff, all your electrical stuff. It, it sits right next to you. You're doing dash work, it, it's right next to you. Open up the door, slide it right in there, 
everything is right in your hand's reach. It's only limited to your imagination. You've even got something neat you've done on the back. I sure do. What we have back here is a wrench holder. that You can have your long extensions, pry bars, all your wrenches on here. It keeps everything right there where you're working at. You're not, not walking back and forth from the toolbox anymore. Everything is right there. Do you have any way to lock this? What we have is this locking cover on here that comes all the way down. A simple padlock goes on there, keeps everything secure, dust free. No one's going to touch it. I like this because it is made in America. You got that right, and we're very proud of that. We want to continue to make stuff in America. All right, we want to find out more. How do we find you? Uh, Tooltote.com, very easy website, user-friendly. Check us out. One of the most common problems in a performance vehicle is heat. I'm with Steve from Heat Shield Products. You have a wide range of uh, products that uh, helps with that. Yes, sir. Uh, personal comfort, performance products, uh, just about everything to keep your car cool, keep your ride cool. We have sound editing for the inside. We've got uh, firewall insulation, hood insulation, um, transmission tunnel insulation wraps for the exhaust, kind of everything. Uh, here at SEMA, everybody has a new product they're trying to showcase. Tell me about what you have here this weekend. Uh, yes, sir, we got a couple. The first one is our IM shield. It's an instant muscle shield. They're pre-cut. Uh, they kind of peel, stick on. Uh, we've had some dyno, and the guy actually gained 12 rear wheel horsepower. Retail for about 80 bucks, so pretty inexpensive horsepower. Yeah, I mean, in, in the performance world, if you're looking for cheap horsepower, that's about as cheap as you're going to get. Plus, there's no tools, not, not a lot of hard installation on a product like this. Yeah, I, the hardest part is probably getting the manifold on and off, and that's that's it. That's really all it is. You got a couple other things? Yes, sir. We have a couple of new sound deadeners that we're launching. Uh, actually, it's a full product line, uh, spray on, roll on, stick on. Um, and just kind of a couple of different ways to approach sound ending. Traditional ways and new, more innovative ways to do it as well. And that's for the interior of the vehicles. You deaden the sound, make it a quiet ride. If you're going to have a hot ride, it's probably got a little rumble to it. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> you want everyone else to hear it, but you'd like to be able to, uh, you know, hear your music or just kind of hear your own thoughts, right? That's great. I love all their products. You should check them out. HeatShieldProducts.com.